Oh, let's do it. Yeah, okay. let's dive in. All right. So I guess the first thing is, is the first question was, is who are you and what is your background? Yeah. So uh, I'm Dr. Shannon Walsh. I graduated from the Ontario Veterinary College in 2017. Uh, I am a city girl who from a young age was really interested in agriculture, um, but just wasn't quite sure how to get involved. I think if I'd been born into a farming family, I'd likely be a farmer today. Um, but I don't know what exactly drew me to it, but ever since, um, yeah, ever since I was a kid, um, there was something about it that I just found really fascinating. Um, maybe it's the connection to the land. Um, I always just got the sense that farmers were really down to earth people. Um, and the more that I became immersed in the agricultural industry, the more I really fell in love with it. Um, you know, these are people who are really passionate about what they do. Um, certainly there are easier ways of making money, but uh, they, they have chosen this as a lifestyle because they are passionate about it and, uh, and, they, and they, believe in, they believe in what they're doing. Do you remember the first, the first hobby farm person you met? Hobby farm? I don't think that the first farm I went to was a hobby farm. Uh, I believe it was a commercial dairy. Um, and um, I remember the veterinarian who very, very kindly let me ride along because I didn't know what, I, what the heck I was doing. Um, I remember he was doing a, a herd health, so uh, going through and, and checking cows for pregnancy and then just talking about any health concerns on the farm that day. And we got into the truck together afterwards, and I said, you spent a lot of time with your arm up a cow's butt. <laughs> and you were like, I want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So then what drove you from that to maybe looking at doing something like this channel? Like, mm. what was the moment where you're like, I know, yeah. instead of having my arm up a cow's butt, <laughs> I want to talk to people on the internet. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It seems like a weird move for me. I'm much more comfortable in a one-on-one -on -one environment on a, on a farm. But um, no, especially what got me interested in small, you know, small farmsteads or hobby farms. I mean, I, I collectively would refer to it as a small farm, but small farm, the small farm community can mean any number of things, whether it's someone who's living in the city with a few chickens in the backyard, um, to, you know, a farm outside of the city that has multiple species and folks are using it to, um, to produce their livelihood or support their families. But what I found was um, that, especially since the pandemic, the interest in where food is coming from, how it's produced, how animals are raised, um, thinking about food food security and food sovereignty. These are all things that are becoming more and more important to people. Um, yeah, especially with the pandemic. And so there's been this huge growing trend in uh, urban farming, hobby farming, farmsteading. And um, unfortunately in Ontario, you know, we already are pretty stretched thin um, in terms of large animal veterinarians. So my goal is to provide a service specifically oriented to this, this, this group of people. You know, what are you hoping to bring to this community? Like, what mm. is the goal? Like, what does, what does great look like a year from now? Yeah, I mean, I would love to provide a platform for members of the small farm community to connect. Farming can be kind of isolating. Um, and so I'd love to provide an opportunity to build community. And I just would really like to be able to provide um, more readily accessible, reliable, current information. Um, there can be a lot of misinformation out there. Um, it can be difficult to get reliable information. So I would love to see people um, get excited about what they're doing and feel empowered that um, you know they they know what they know what to do to um, uh, achieve the best health they can for their animals. Perfect.